Hi guys, welcome back to Love Luxury YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about this very special Rolex watch and it's a little bit different. It's a model number 19018. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like and comment. Hi, welcome back to Love Luxury. I'm Emily Abraham and we're talking today about this very special Rolex 19018. Now, that is a short model number, which leads us to believe that this is an older watch. And you'd be right if you thought that. This watch was produced in 1981. So as usual, if you haven't seen my videos, I like to go through a little bit of the history of a watch before I talk about the specific model. And that's what I'll be doing now. This model was released in 1977 and it was discontinued in 2001. And we are now in 2022. So this model has not been being produced for over 20 years. What's so special about this watch? Well, as you can see, it's quite an old model. This is a 1981 watch. But what's really special about this model is that it's an Oyster Quartz day date. In the period of the 24 years that this Oyster Quartz day date was crafted, there were only 25,000 quartz model watches produced by Rolex. Now, you might think that that's quite a lot. However, of those 25,000, there were multiple metals and models. And actually, the date date was probably the least produced. And of that 25,000, the vast majority of the watches produced with the Oyster Quartz were date justs. And while we're talking numbers, between the 70s and the 2000s, Rolex produced several hundred thousand watches. So to produce only 25,000 watches that had the Oyster Quartz movement in them, then that really does go to show you just how few of these watches were produced. And this lack of production during its production period just goes to reflect how many are in circulation now, today, in 2022. This Rolex Oyster Quartz Reference 19018 really was a flagship model of its time. It saw the very first sapphire crystal and the Calibre 5055, and we'll come back to that a little bit later. Let's talk about the features of this very beautiful, solid yellow gold watch. Now, it has a flat top case and a solid gold integrated bracelet, which really is reminiscent of the AP Royal Oak and the Vacheron Constantine Triple Two. Now, you can really see what I'm talking about when you see close-ups of this watch. It really does have a strong Gerald Genta feel about it. And if you're not sure who Gerald Genta is, he actually is the gentleman who designed the first AP Royal Oak. And he also designed the Nautilus from Patek and many other watches. He even designed for Rolex and gave them their hype at a great time for Rolex. He really was a fantastic designer. And what sets this quartz model apart from its quartz counterparts on the market at that time was the sharp angular shape of the case and the integral bracelet really gives this watch a 1970s, 80s feel, which is unmistakable, that's for sure. And it's this 1970s, 80s vibe about the watch that is giving it a massive comeback in 2022. This particular model reference, 19018, came in six dial options and it also came in over 20 different languages. The total weight of this watch with its full 25 links from the factory is 148 grams. And what's lovely about this 36 mil version that we've got here is that it does look more reminiscent of a 38 mil. But what's fantastic about it is that it can sit on a very tiny wrist. So anything from a 13 centimeter up to an 18 centimeter wrist would look great 
with this model. This really is an heirloom quality watch and it's seen massive recent surges in popularity. And I think that goes with the fashion, the styles, but not only that, because it's such a well-made piece of horological history. You may say to me, why on earth do you think that this watch is such a great piece of history? Why would you think it's an heirloom? Honestly, the company ethos, the Rolex ethos at the time was built for a lifetime and they really did hold up to that. These watches were built to last a lifetime. They have exceptionally good quality movements and the, they just are amazing pieces of art. In my opinion, I view them as pieces of art because they don't only tell the time, but they have a fantastic story to tell and they look fantastic. So without further ado, let's talk about this exact model. So as I just said, it is a 36 mil that wears more like a 38. It's 12.6 millimeters thick and from lug to lug is 44 millimeters. The thickness allows for it to sit neatly under the cuff and it really is a great dress watch. The dial features a champagne sunburst dial and on that dial we have the gold hour buttons which are faceted to capture the light. There are tiny white dots just beyond the hour buttons and on the circumference we have a railroad track minute keeper and on this minute keeper that's where we find the Roman numerals. The fully non-abbreviated day is at the 12 and we have the date at 3. Now, both of these are on golden discs, which really keep in tune with the rest of the gold of the watch. Rolex Oyster Quartz day date is written just under the 12 in a black font. And then just in the lower middle half of the dial, we have superlative chronometer officially certified written. And then just beyond or just at the six, we have Swiss made. The hour and minute hands are gold crafted as is the second hands, but the hour and minute hands have luminescence on them. The seconds hand perfectly aligns with the railroad minute markers, second marker around the circumference of the dial. Moving on to the solid yellow gold fluted bezel, which perfectly slopes down onto the case. The case is solid yellow gold and the lugs flow seamlessly into the tapered bracelet. On the case, we have a screw down double dot crown. The crown features a quick set date and hacking function for the seconds hand to give a more precise time set. When the crown is fully screwed back down, it gives this wristwatch a waterproofness of 100 meters, which is approximately 230 feet or 10 ATM. Moving back over to the lugs and the no flare solid end links. Now, these links are designed in such a way that you can pull the strap down quite well on a tiny wrist. The serial and reference numbers are below the lugs, not between the lugs. The case features a polished chamfered edge and on the top of the case it's satin and around the edges of the case it's also highly polished. The bezel is also highly polished and it's this difference between highly polished and satin edges that really give these beautiful watches such a glisten and a glow when you're wearing them. The chamfered edges run down the shoulder of the lugs and onto the strap and the sides of the strap, the edges of the strap are highly polished and then the side links are satin and then the central links are also highly polished. Again, this gives a great contrast for catching of light. Now, the strap on this watch is called the Oyster Quartz President, and the way it differs from the modern day President or the other President straps is that it has a flat top as opposed to a half dome. And just like its domed President counterpart, 
it has three pieces that make up each link. We hope you're enjoying the video so far. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like and comment. Moving down to the closure. Now this features a concealed closure and it has the five dot crown there. The day date Oyster Quartz President bracelet actually features screw adjustments for making bigger or making smaller, as opposed to other quartz models that were pin adjusted. This Oyster Quartz day date was the only model to have a solid link integrated bracelet with no end links. So let's move on to what makes this watch a super special timepiece and what's hidden behind the solid case back. Now, again, the case back is solid yellow gold. And hiding behind this solid gold case back is the 5055 caliber. Now, as I said at the beginning, I'd come back to this and I'm coming back to it now. This is what makes this watch so special. The 5055 caliber is a Rolex made caliber and it took Rolex five years to produce and design this caliber. They wanted it to be perfect and again, they wanted it to be built for life. And still today in 2022, this 5055 caliber is one of the best quartz caliber movements on the market. And although it's battery operated, the quality of this movement is on a par to any mechanical movements. Now, when people see this watch, they may think to themselves, we've got a fake on our hands because it ticks and doesn't glide. And the reason for that is this quartz movement. It was designed to tick and it was designed to tick loudly and the 5055 has double the parts of a standard quartz caliber it features a trimmer adjustment system for servicing it also has the ability to compensate for the aging of the quartz oscillator which was designed to last a lifetime which featured rhodium plated brass bridges and plates the caliber 5055 features 11 jewels and a swiss lever escapement to step those seconds and it's this swiss lever escapement that steps the hands at one hertz giving one beat per second for precision timing and accuracy of two to five seconds per month, which is only 60 seconds per year in adjustment. That in itself is pretty impressive. This caliber features both the thermo compensated quartz timing system and the COSC certified quartz chronometer. It is very rare to find both of these on a quartz watch and seeing both together just goes to show how committed rolex were to this ethos of built for a lifetime you'll find that your battery life lasts between two and three years so what makes this caliber so special instead of using a magnet it uses a motor unit and this motor unit rotates side to side, mimicking the balance wheel on a mechanical watch. This motion then transfers to a second wheel. Rather than a gear train unwinding in a mechanical watch, this watch pushes the gear train around from the motor unit, giving the incredibly accurate timekeeping on seconds per year. Now, all of the watches, all of the items that I talk about on this YouTube channel are available to purchase at our Love Luxury Knightsbridge store on Beauchamp Place. And that is where you will find this stunning piece. So let's talk about what this 1981 model comes with. As you can see, the watch is sat in this vintage box and it's a little bit different to the new Rolex boxes, which is why I've had to step it up so you can see the watch inside the box. So it comes with this lovely vintage Rolex box, which was the original day date box that came with this Oyster Quartz model. But it doesn't just come with its original box. It also comes with its original outer box and 
every single piece of paper and booklet that you could possibly imagine that came with the original watch in 1981, including its original certificate. Also, I don't know if you can see there, but we have the spare link, we have the swing tags as well. Now, I don't know if watches back then were given out with hankies, but here is a Rolex hanky that comes with this particular model. And on top of that, we've got a plethora, I'm going to bring them out, of booklets. And these ones are the original ones that came with the watch. And it comes with a tiny little booklet which tells you all about the watch and it's the warranty. And this lovely little Rolex wallet whether it's to carry your documents in or whether it's to use as a wallet, I don't know, but it's a, a lovely leather wallet. Now, this watch was procured by its most recent owner in around 2008. And when he purchased it, it came with all of these bits and pieces. And since then, he's been regularly looking after this watch. So this watch not only comes with all these juicy little extras that I've just showed you, but it also comes with every single servicing receipt and paperwork that has been made on this watch since before it was purchased in 2008 and after it was purchased in 2008 and most recently the watch has been in for service with Rolex I'll add that all of the services are with Rolex and it's had a new battery a new hands and a new sapphire glass this is essentially a brand new watch it has been polished it's had its first polish and it still has the Rolex polishing stickers on it. In my opinion, this is the finest example of this 19018 model on the market. I'm not just saying that because I'm biased, I'm being honest. It's in impeccable condition. It's been exceptionally well looked after. It comes with absolutely everything your hopes and dreams could desire when buying a watch. And a burning question for anybody watching these videos is how much was this watch at the time of production? Now, while I was doing my research, I couldn't find a definitive answer. I found that Rolexes at that time were in the region of £750. I'm guessing that this would have been double that because it is made of solid gold. So you're looking at around £1,500 for this model. Now, what would this model sell for on today's market? It's a fluctuating market and currently in September of 2022, I would expect this watch in this condition with all of these added extras to sell for in the region of £18,000. That's a massive return on your investment if you're willing to hold on to a watch for 40 odd years. Or if you wanted to buy this watch, keep it, look after it, maintain it. I can only assume that something like this in the future is going to appreciate in value. So we've come to the end of the video. I do hope that you've enjoyed the video, you found it informative and that you may be interested in this beautiful piece. Don't forget, like I said, all of the pieces that I feature and talk about are available to purchase at our Knightsbridge store, Love Luxury, Beauchamp Place. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like and comment.